Hey, hi everyone. So till now we have discussed two timeout. One is page load timeout and one was set a script timeout. So these two weights were not dealing with the web elements, right? But now the next three weights which I'm going to discuss is going to deal with the web elements. All are very important and we need to take a call that when to use which weight because all the weights are going to applied on the web elements. So I will start with the implicitly weight, then we'll move to explicit weight and we'll talk about the fluent weight itself. So let me create another program for implicit weight. And this time I'm going to copy paste the code which you have created. And uh, this time I will say it's implicit weight demo. Now many people call this as implicit weight, but if you see the actual method name itself called implicitly weight. So let me show you this. So one important thing is this particular weight will be applicable after driver.get method. Do not write before get method because once you have the page loaded, then only this weight will be applicable. So let me use one application for this demo. Uh, let's take the same application which we are using so far. And the moment you say driver dot manage dot timeout dot you can see the method name is implicitly wait it's not implicit it's implicitly wait and what it does it is it will actually wait for that particular element if it is not immediately present as simple as that so what it does so let's say I have given some element let's say by id text or any other locator let's say mukesh and if that particular element does not exist so if you have set the time let's say 10 seconds so this selenium is going to wait maximum 10 seconds for that particular element if it is not immediately present okay and if the moment that particular element is present it is going to perform all the activities whatever you have mentioned and it will continue so it's a smart weight and it's a global weight why we call this as a global weight because once you specify in your script it will be applicable for all the elements okay so just remember these two points it's a global weight it's a smart weight plus it will be applicable for all the web elements and that's why we call this as global weight now if you try to read this description they have written clearly when searching for a single element driver will also poll the page until the web element is found and if the timeout expires it is going to throw no such element exception it means let's say it's searching for that element and once you are crossing that time limit it will simply say no such element exception so it's very interesting and very useful that you have to use in each and every script it is mandatory so let's say um, before setting this i want to show you one example at this moment i'm not setting any implicitly weight and i'm going to search for a user um, let's say one id and this id i can give anything let's say i'm searching for selenium or let's say i'm searching for this guy and i want to do some operation let's say i want to search something called selenium and we know this element does not exist because there is no element on this particular application which has the id this so you'll notice one thing the moment i run this test it is going to fail immediately because the moment it will try to find this does not exist and it is going to fail so just keep eye and you can see immediately it failed and the exception says no such element exception it was expected now let me set the implicit weight so this time i will say driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicitly weight and i'm giving let's say 10 seconds it means maximum wait for 10 seconds within this 10 seconds if this element is not loading fail my script so it is going to throw no such element exception again so in order to showcase this part i will run the script again and let's verify the output just notice one thing okay you can see even the page loaded but it did not fail it is waiting for 10 seconds and once you cross the 10 second then it will fail and it failed now mm. 
and if you try to read this particular you know exception it simply says that i am trying to find the element with this particular id which is mukesh otwani which does not exist and it is going to throw no such element exception now you should ask one question like if i have multiple elements will it be applicable for every web element yes so let's consider this is a valid username so in my case if i take the username uh, id which is nothing but txt username okay let me just take it yeah text username okay and if i take the valid password which is txt password and third element is not valid so will it be applicable for the third one as i said it's a global weight it will be applicable for each and every web element so yes so this two particular statement will get executed and it will fail at this particular statement this will also fail after 10 second within 10 seconds if some id is matching with this it will continue so let's right click run as the application and you will see the behavior so i will keep it here just notice here it is entering selenium selenium and now it is waiting for that login button with mukesh otwani id and it failed so i hope it is clear now now before we end this particular video one final point i would like to highlight here that it is only checking for element presence okay and they have given a proper note that you need to use or you need to make proper use of implicit weight if you keep on increasing the implicit weight it might create a adverse effect on the test execution so we need to use the combination of implicit weight versus explicit weight so in the next video we will talk about explicit weight and the big difference between implicit weight and explicit weight is the condition implicit weight only checks for element presence but explicit weight have thousands of conditions okay you can wait for a specific web element you can wait for a specific frame alerts windows you can wait for the text you can wait for the title there's so many conditions and we are going to see couple of them in the next video